Okay, so let's go ahead and set up the login page for our driver. So the first thing we need to do will be to create a new layout XML. And this time around is going to be for login. Android layout. So I'm going to call this login. So just like we said earlier, we don't want to waste time, you know, typing out the XML. And it's roughly the same thing with our Rider app. So let's go over to our Rider app and copy the XML for the login page. So I'm going to, this is my Rider app. So I will just go ahead and copy this. Boom. So this actually resolves quite quickly without any stress. So let's go ahead and create our login activity. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to go to my Solution Explorer. Under my Activities folder, I'm going to create our login activity. I'm going to call this Login Activity. Okay, so I'm going to change this to App Compact Activity. So let's resolve this. Okay, okay, like we all know, so let's go ahead and define some of our views. So I'm going to say button, login button. I'm going to have text impute layout. And I'm going to bring its name space. And I'm going to call this test impute email. I'm going to call this test impute password. So the next thing I need to reference will be our coordinator layout. And call this root view and also I need a reference to the text that reads click to sign up this text not registered click to register okay so we, we're going to have a reference to this so that when we click it will take us to our registration activity so we have it here click to sign up text so let's go ahead and grab a reference to that as well so I'm going to say test view click to sign up so I'm going to create a new method and call it connect views as we did in the last class. So I'm going to say login button. Hmm. This will be equal to button dot login button for our email. We're going to have text impute layout find view by ID resource dot ID dot uh kind of seems to have forgotten what i named this okay i named it email text that's okay so for that of password we're going to do the same thing password test okay Okay. Okay, so let's add click event handlers to our login button our, and our click to sign up. So I'm going to say login button dot click was equal to. So this is our click event handler for our login button. So the next will be click to sign up dot click. So we are done with this because we are using Firebase authentication. So we need to define some instances of Firebase authentication, our current user on Firebase database. So I'm, I'm just going to go over to our registration activity and copy some of this. So let's resolve this. Resolve this. We are good to go. But before we can go ahead and use them, we need to assign values to them. So that's where we're going to say void initialize. Okay, so mof will be equal to updater helper. 
get Firebase auth current user will be equal to app data helper dot get current user then our database of course will be equal to app data helper dot get database we're gonna call our connect views and here we're gonna say initialize say initialize firebase so this is good now what we want to do is to go ahead and actually sign in our user all right so to do that when we click on login button we need to do some stuff so we're going to say string email and password okay so email will be equal to text input layout okay so for our password which should be equal to dot test so we're good now the next thing is to go ahead and log in our user remember we need an instance of task completion listener right so that if our task is completed we we'll know what to do okay so now let's define a new instance of task completion listener so i'm going to call this task completion listeners so task completion listener dot successful i'm going to also say so after we've said this let's go ahead and actually sign in our user so to do that i'm going to say mauth dot sign in user with email and password i'm going to pass it our email and our password okay well this is not all right we need to add our unsuccess listener this should be this so i'm going to add on failure as well okay so this is how we sign in with our email and password all right so let's just go ahead and add some code to our task completion listeners all right so when login is failed like when is failure i'm going to go ahead and say snack bar dot make i'm just going to say login failed okay so this is what we want to do when login was failed and when login is successful we're just going to log in the user to the main activity so i'm just going to say start activity type of main activity so let's go ahead and set our team as well remember it's the rule of thumb that you have to set your team so i'm going to set my team uber team and the next one let's make this our main launcher so that we could see the login in action so to that effect we need to go ahead and make this not to be the main launcher anymore i'm going to set this to false Okay, so now we are done with this. Let's go ahead and run our app and see this in action. Okay, so seems to have some errors. Okay, so this is supposed to be at style slash Uber team. All right, I could have missed that. So guys, let's go ahead and run this again. Okay, our app is starting. Okay, <laughs> so this is one of the demerits of copying, right? So guys, we need to change this after now. But before we get to that point, let's go ahead and try to log in, right? Our login detail is MacQ, if you remember, when we did the registration. So MacQ at gmail.com. So this is the password. Boom. So as you can see, our login is working. So guys, see you in the next class.